check before her. Should, should, yeah, no. Cancel okay. If you don't start barking, Beyonce is gonna start dancing. Where is my. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, uh, it's been about five months since I've heard of this concept of uh, learning in public from Sean when he first gave a talk in a Shopee office. I don't think I have any new input on how to do or what exactly is learning in public, so I probably won't go into that so much. Uh, but since it's almost the end of the year and we are having a show about learning in public, so I figured it's a good time to go back into this short journey. On top of that, a lot of people were not here in the very first RK when I came across this concept. Uh, I thought I gave this concept uh, of a talk in the form of Pecha Kucha. Basic idea, 20 slides, 20 seconds, no touching the screen. So it gives you a chance to give you some amount of content, but not too much. So in case you don't know me personally, I'm Tenzi, Ten Zi Yang. That's why Ten Zi. Uh, I go by TZYINC on Twitter, but my friends call me Ten. And uh, I'm a web, web front end engineer. It's my first shot since January last year, and uh, hopefully more years to come. So, if you've been in any of my talks or you read my blog posts, you'll see that I do weird shit with either JS or CSS, literally sometimes. So that is actually done in a one div CSS. And uh, yeah, things like uh, drawing using CSS, AI libraries in JS, and some hardware stuff also. So my newer site projects are all hosted on this website. So if you want to go, do go. The URL idea was thought up by Li Hao. It used to be some really stupid long name. Um, <laughs> I do give internal sharing on most of the projects I work on, but there are some smaller stuff that are in progress that I do not share. So you can go and see there. So a big philosophy that uh, follows in my projects come from one of my earliest influence, Adam Savage from Myths Busters. Uh, he said, we build the things that we can buy so that we have the skills to build the things we can't buy. And I think this is uh, very important because in this day, of, day and age of APIs, public APIs and all that kind of things, uh, the, the APIs that are available are kind of like the things we buy but we don't actually provide back. So to achieve this amount of skills, I try to make my project small and modular and focus it on the exact skill that I want to learn. So I usually set it as a small, very achievable goal. And this is kind of in line with what Li Hao said last week about uh, the quote from Steve Jobs, you know, about connecting the dots, looking forward, you can't do it. So what, as I know a lot of us are quite kind of new in working, uh, kind of new in development. So I think it's a good time for us to not worry about all the connection and how is it going to be useful and just create dots right now. So to stop myself from forgetting all these projects and ideas, I usually add it to a Telegram chat that I have with myself. I only start working on the things that I'm actually really, really interested in and I, I don't really push myself to finish or to even start on them. Uh, the hardest part of getting anything done is actually just starting. So basically, if you keep everything small, you keep everything always available on you, eventually you're going to start. Why rush yourself? So there's the results in public. Okay, this touching my screen is for the screen. It's dimming. The results of uh, wanting to put out content has resulted in all these milestones. So uh, one, uh, this is a non-obligatory plug, and they didn't force me to say this. Uh, they also did not pay me to say this. RK is very, very nice. It gives you a very high, high reward, uh, low risk kind of things. I can scroll up right now. I've already missed a few of my points that I wanted to talk about. It doesn't matter because it is all people that we know, and that's good. Uh, for why I, I do the writing for my blog post is that um, it's, it's something that helps me in the learning process. Uh, every time when I learn something, everything is always jumbled up. That's just how your brain works. That's exactly how a neural network works. When you need to organize something, now that's the difficult part. So writing it down actually gives you things that are in line. So. Uh, and building small projects is actually a really cool thing that you can share with other people. This is a Pokemon speech generator that I create. I don't tell you which Pokemon it is. Uh, you can kind of see. And uh, just by displaying the thing on Metamos, um, people gave me great advice. Reduce the, the first download speed from 20 seconds to one second. So in the case of uh, the upcoming Tech Etsy, which will be on February, so please come and see me there. Uh, it's actually, they just give me $500 to speak, so why not, right? Just take it. Uh, on top of that, it's actually uh, rehashing a talk that I already did in RK. Sometimes your ideas, at that point in time, you felt good, but now you feel like, okay, it could be better. I wanted to make a better speech. 
So uh, I don't have 2020 vision, so I don't know what happens next year. Haha, <laughs> last chance to make this joke. Um, so, but if everyone follows my good reads, they know that I set really, really low goals. Uh, like for example, my good read goal every year is to read one book, and I always hit it. So next year, I'm just going to write one blog post every month. I think that's easy enough. And uh, I'm really, really lazy. So if I can do something like this, I think a lot of people can too. Um, one of the three great virtues of a programmer, right? Laziness. Uh, so I'm super, super lazy. I must be a great programmer. Uh, I'm not here to brag about it. I'm just saying everyone can also be good uh, doing learning in public. Sometimes uh, you, you do a spill. Sometimes you feel very lazy. You can't kick yourself forward. So you, I, I call this thing called spillover energy. Good thing we are all in Shopee. Everybody is actually really, really bright and enthusiastic, uh, including Li Hao, which I take a lot of inspiration from. Uh, and I get the energy that he spills over. Sometimes he's super excited about something, and then I also get excited. Yeah, excited together. Uh, but not everyone's learning in public process needs to be the same, right? Uh, you don't have to be as sucky as Sean. You don't have to be a svelte contributor tomorrow like Li Hao. Uh, as long as the process is enjoyable and educational to yourself, it's really, really good. But some people, they don't like broadcasting themselves. They don't like putting their voice out in public. That's fine too. You, you can actually just you know, learn in public with maybe an anonymous Twitter account. You can answer people questions, ask people questions, at whoever you want to, maybe insult them while you're at it. Doesn't matter. So for people, um, so now it's end of the year. It's a good time to create your next upcoming uh, learning in public goals. So why not just uh, put it as a New Year's resolution? More likely than not, it will be mostly for yourself. No one cares. It, it doesn't really matter. You can just do whatever you want. And uh, if you're lucky, maybe you gain some public traction. Maybe you become the Svelte contributor. And that's all I have for today. Uh, I'm actually short 15 seconds. Uh, why are you like that? Why are you uh, soon? Yeah, so maybe I'll dance first. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, that's it.